Well, I've been having trouble with this video, so I'm not sure if this will work. What I've been working on today is this, uh, this mandrel um, came with an off-center jig that I had ordered from Pennsylvania. And uh, one of the things when you put a mandrel like this in a, uh, in a headstock that spins at about 3000 RPM, you want to make darn sure that it stays in the headstock. So what uh, the manufacturer did is they, they tapped a, uh, a thread into the end of this, this mandrel so you could create a draw bar. So this morning I went out and, and got a quarter inch, uh, quarter inch threaded rod and uh, made a couple of collars. So the first one is uh, um, I made a collar that uh, fit into the sleeve of the the headstock. Uh, I guess that this is the service as a handle. I can I can turn the headstock by hand. And then uh, this collar fits in as kind of a washer. And then I used the, the leftover piece of wood and drilled a hole and then tapped uh, the, the same thread on the inside of this and creating it as essentially a nut. And then uh, tightens it down against this collar and so that uh, this mandrel, when it uh, runs, uh, stays in the headstock. And uh, so I'll just turn it on and show you. And uh, then I don't ever have to worry about that coming out. So that draw bar, having made the draw bar, I then went on to uh, make a, uh, a shaving brush that I'd been trying to get done for quite some time. I just didn't have this, uh, this tooling yet. And so the, uh, the piece of acrylic that I had to match my uh, shaving brush and, or shaving uh, uh, razor and stand that I made quite some time ago. The acrylic, uh, I made a hole that fit the knot and the, this this uh, sleeve here is the same size as the as the shaving knot. And then this pin is what held the uh, the piece of acrylic on so that I could uh, could shape the uh, block into a good good size for a shaving brush. And uh, so that's what I've been doing so far. It's been a lot of fun.